Hello viewers, thanks for watching our videos. If you're not yet subscribed, please subscribe and please support us. So what is our next question here? We have to write three equivalent rational numbers for the given two rational numbers. How means whatever equivalent means it is a multiple with the some numbers that is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 with the numerator and denominator as well. So here 2 by 3 means first write 2 by 3. Comma, 2 by 3 into 2 by 2. That is 4 by 6. Next. 2 3 is a 6. 3 3 is a 9. Next. Here 2 4 is a 8. 3 4 is a 12. Like that, we are going to go 2 5 is a 10. Here we are going to increase 3 3 to the Above that, we are going to increase addition of 2, 2, 2, 2, like that. Below that, addition of 3, 3, 3, 3 for the upcoming one. Like next, minus 3 by 8. So, minus 3 into 2, 8 into 2. So, minus 3 into 2 means minus 6 by 16. So, this is the equivalent ratio. Then, we are going to multiply with minus 3 into 3, minus 3 into 4, minus 3 into 5, like that. Then 18 to 3, 18 to 4, 18 to 5. So here next one is minus 3 minus 9 by 24. Next minus 12, 32. Next minus 15 by 40. So like that equivalent ratios. If you cancel that one means then for everything we will get 2 by 3. For a second one minus 3 by 8. Our next one, minus 15 by 36. This one we have to write with the denominator 12 and we have to write with that. So here, how we'll write is minus 15 write as it is. 36, denominator we want 12. How much we need to multiply with the, um, what is this? Denominator means, so here 12 threes are. Then what you can write is denominator 12 means 15 also converting to minus 5 into 3 into 3. So minus 5 into 3, 15, 12 into 3. So 12 we got here, 3, 3 will go into cancel minus 5 by 12. So we got minus 5 by 12. So like that we need to convert. Next, minus 15 by 36. Minus 15, we have to write numerator with minus 75. How much should multiply to get minus 75? Minus 15, minus 75. 75 is greater than 15. So for that, we need to multiply. So 15 fives are then 36 into 5. So what we are doing is we are multiplying 15 with the 5. Then what will come is. Okay, so it will be minus 75 by, so here 5, 0, 5, 6 is a 30, 5, 3 is a 15, 180. Like that, minus 75 by 180. What is our next question? 1 by 2, 3 by 4, 3 by 2, 10 by 3. We have to represent these rational numbers on number line. So how to represent? So here what we'll do is, so here what we'll do is, just we'll draw the lines, 1 by 2 means, let's take 0, 1, 2. So each and every centimeter we have to divide as number of parts in denominator. Here 2 is there, for that 1 to 2, 1 to 0 to 1 we have to divide 2 sections, that is middle 1. Then 4 means we have to divide 1 to 2, 4 parts. So, like that. So, here we are going to divide this section into 1, 2, like that. 1 by 2 means it is. So, first part in 2 parts. So, here this is first one. This is second, third, fourth, like that. It will go. So, here 1 by 2 means. 
So in numerator, how many parts is there? One part is there. Go for one. So here, how many parts? It's occupied here. So this is the, this is zero by zero. This is one by two means this is one by two. So it will be one by two means 0. 0.5. So after that one will come, that is two by two. So from here to here, this is one part, this is second part. Next, three by four. Let's take uh, 0, 1, 2. So what it will come is, how many parts we have to divide from 0 to 1 is 4 parts. That is 1, 2, 3. 1, 2, 3. So here this is 1st, 2nd, 3rd, 4th, 5th, 6th, 7th, 8th. So how many parts is? 4 parts we are divided. How many parts? So from here to here, number of parts will be 4. From here to here, 1 part like that. How many parts is occupied? In uh, uh, numerator, 3 parts. So just mark this. This is 3 by 4. 3 by 4. That is 3 by 4. Our next one, 3 by 2. 0, 1, 2. So, 2 parts, right? From 0 to 1, we have to divide as 2, 2 parts. 1, 2. So, this is 1, 2, 3, 4. Like that, it will come. So, here 3 by 2. Here 1 part. In numerator, 3 is there. Denominator, 2, 2 parts is there. So, on number line, 2, 2 parts we have to divide. In numerator, 3 is there. Where is 3? Here 1, 2, 3. So, after 1, we will get. After 1, First point we will get. So that is 3 by 2. Next one 10 by 3. 0, 1, 2, 3. Next 4. 3 parts we have to divide. So here from 0 to 1, 3, 3 parts should be there. So this is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 9, 10, 11, like that. So, 10 by 3, no? So, here 3, 3 parts we are divided. Where it is 10? After 3, after 3, first part. So, this is 10 by 3. So, like this, we need to represent the number lines. Our next question is, find whether the true or false is there. Our first question, every integer is a rational number and vice versa. All rational numbers will not come under integers, but all integers will be rational numbers. That is false. Next, in rational number of the form P by Q, Q must be non-zero integer. It's Q must and should be uh, non-zero integer. Yes, that is true. Every decimal number can be represented as rational number. We cannot re represent all the decimal numbers into rational numbers why because in new denominator you should uh, you should not get zero next for so that is false next five by seven six by seven seven by seven or all equivalent rational numbers that is false it is not like uh, fractions rational numbers are different with fractions these are all like fractions but these are all not equivalent rational numbers means it is a common multiple should be there in numerator and denominator for that it is false equivalent rational numbers of positive rational numbers are all positives yes all positive equivalent rational numbers if it is a positive means all equivalent rational numbers will be also positive thanks for watching our video that is true thanks for watching